Hi there! Welcome back to the Insect Nerd, where we geek about geek out about insects and animals. Um, mostly insects because I am an entomologist enthusiast, but also I do keep other pets like Luna and Neville, my white tree frogs, and Farah, my gecko, who I have just done a video on. So check that out. Uh, today we're just going to jump right into it. Um, is sort of um, a sort of a beginner beetle guide. Um, so which beginning beetle you should get first and why. Uh, if you want to know care on any of these beetles, I will do care videos for them another time. However, for now, I mean, some of them I've done, some beetles and rainbow stags I've done. So have a look at those. Some of the care is quite similar with other species as well. Um, so we're just going to go why I think they're suitable and why others might not be as suitable as the species I list first. The ones I list first are the most sort of suitable. But behind me, just to point out where we are and what we're doing, um, is sort of a, my, well it's a tank, <laughs> um, it's my old um, hamster enclosure. So I've made it into a communal beetle enclosure, so I'm keeping um, sun beetles, I'm keeping flower beetle, I'm keeping stag beetle and some sort of brown rhinoceros beetles in there. Um, not all my beetle species are in there, just because some of them I don't think are suitable. Um, and some of them are breeding, but it's quite a nice space because it gives them enough room to roam and sort of different feeding stations so they don't argue over food because animals argue over, animal and insects um, over, argue over three things, mates, food and space. Um, it, it, wouldn't, it would be different if I put two males in with a female of a different species, but so far so good um i've had the beetles in for a couple of weeks now and none of the males from different species are arguing because obviously they can't mate with different species different female species of beetle so it's quite interesting it's quite you know they kind of go about their business and don't bother each other basically just sort of you know like us when you know the COVID pandemic 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 comes up you know we just don't don't go near people too much it's basically like that um they've adopted their own sort of uh uh social distancing <laughs> but anyway we're gonna sort of kick it off with sort of the first favorite beetle um first sort of top beginner beetle which is uh the sun beetle um the technical name is pancho pantronoda margiata um the technical name spelling will be up on the screen some of these I struggle to pron pronounce, so I will just say the the actual name and then the technical name will appear on screen. But these guys are really lovely because they're very colourful, very easy to handle. Uh, care is great. The care video is sort of on my channel, so please have a look. Um, they're just, they're very easy to handle and hold. They don't live very long, which is one negative, I would say, but not many beetles live too long. It's only stag beetles that live a quite good length of years, two years. Um, but yeah, this gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Beetles like this, there's loads of different small beetles like this. Candy beetles are also really cool. Uh, they are, they're very cute. Uh, they make the tank look great as well. And um, they roam around and they're just very curious. Um, and they're very easy to raise as well. Um, but yeah, they're very easy to hold and handle. They're not too prickly, so I would re I would definitely recommend them as a beginner species. Um, they weren't my beginning species. Um, my beginner species. I'll show you in a minute if I can actually get him off. I get my beginner species was. I'm gonna just take the whole thing out. So this guy here stag beetle but he is a rainbow stag beetle um so he was one of my well he's not one of my first species but he's not my first stag beetle but the species is was my first stag was my sorry he he was my first that his species the rainbow stag beetle was my first species of beetle um so yeah the, they're quite easy actually they're quite tame they do grip a little bit and you can see they've got those mandibles but unless you really put your finger in between them which is really stupid why would you do that then actually they're not too bad um they don't go for your finger on purpose they're quite cool um and collective and you can see another you can see another sun beetle eating fruit see look they don't actually really kind of 
um, <laughs> do anything to each other. Just sort of sit there. And um, that one's a flower beater. We'll get round to that one in a minute. That's Bert. <laughs> I do sometimes call them names. That's Devil. He's, he kind of has a bit of a reddish sheen. You can't really see it on here, unfortunately. Are you saying hi to the camera, Bert? But yeah, he's quite hard to see. But he's got like a sort of reddish sheen at the back of his abdomen. Like round there. But yeah, that's the second. They're just very easy. Um, temperature range is quite good. Um, I've done a care video on them again. So if you want to see the care video, that's great. Uh, moving on. He's actually on the same thing. Um, next one. The third one is a flower beetle. Now, I kind of would put them actually in a range with... Oh, he's got a bit of kiwi stuck to his leg. But... Um, <laughs> They are very sweet, they've got lots of character, um, they are similar to some beetles. Um, all these beetles are kept in sort of the same range of temperature obviously because um, so most of the tank is 20 degrees Celsius which is what they need mostly and then one area the lot where the light is over there is up to 30 degrees so they can sort of move around where they want but but I would I would say is you know they are very similar to sun beetles but they are they are quite big um, and I've only got one of them in the tank. He's lovely, um, he's a character, he is naughty. Um, oops, he needed quite a lot of space to roam around and that's why this area came around um, because he needed some area to fly. Um, he was flying and he just didn't have enough room. Uh, so yeah, but he's a tiger. Orange, he's an orange tiger flower beetle. So he is not just a flower beetle; he is quite a rare type of flower beetle. And I was blessed blessed to actually get it off Richard Invert. So thank you, Richard Invert, for this. I'm really grateful for Bert. But yeah, he's got the horn. That's how you can tell he's male. Um, he's also very cheeky. <laughs> but yeah, he, he is a gorgeous boy. Um, he's quite easy to handle. He's not too bitey. Some beetles, unfortunately, are a little bitey. And sometimes they do it for defense um or because they just think you're you're soft like jelly and they want to eat you so they don't mean to do it but they just generally do um i was actually filming earlier and i had some trouble with a, a brown beetle a brown rhinoceros beetle and it bit me not badly it was just like a little sort of like a little nip but yeah once they dig in but he's just sort of looking and feeling and he'll probably take off in a minute so i've got to be careful but he's looking and feeling around so he's quite he does he does get a bit grippy because he's got the spikes around on the on the on the on the legs however he's not too bad and again they don't have a massive lifespan oh, lifespan but maybe four to five months as an adult uh but again i would do a care video on him haven't done that yet but he is absolutely gorgeous absolutely love him um, I do love all my beetles, but I have favourites. Everybody does, no matter what they say. Uh, but yeah, it's gorgeous, gorgeous orange colour there. He's gone all shy now, but um, I'll put this back. Uh, just a second. <sighs> Whoops. So the next beetle um, is actually sort of one of the bitier ones. Um, to be honest, they all have different characters. Um... So I'm just gonna add it up. They all have sort of different characters. So some of the bitey ones are not actually that bitey. Um, but some of them get on your skin and it does hurt and it takes a while to get off and it's quite frustrating. Um, now I I kept um, a Japanese rhino beetle, which is similar family to the Brown's rhinoceros beetle. And I can tell you he wasn't too bitey, he was very noisy. Um, these guys hiss. Um so I, I kind of recommend if you prepare to get a bit bitten or wear gloves, then they're fine. But they are sort of the second to last beetles that I recommend because um, you want, you know, you want a nice thing you can handle first and then sort of, okay, I'm just trying to find them for you. Just a second. Have a nice little look at the tank again. Sometimes I can handle the male. He's quite easy. Um, yeah, he's quite easy to handle. He's not too bad. So these guys are rhinoceros beetles. Quite grippy. Uh, he's got like a little sort of ghosty eye. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. If not, I'll put a close up photo. Um, I'm going to get the female out as well. She hissed at me the sort of earlier when I was trying to do the 
the vlogging again but have a look at him which is why I made it for her uh, the females are very hissy very stressy um very I mean some of times they don't bite you I've got two females and that's one out of two that does bite um I can't find her now Just have a nice little look at him. So it's a brown rhinoceros beetle. Yep, I found her. Nice. So I'm just going to put her on there and try to. Already trying to bite me. So they hiss when basically they get cross. Uh, just like, you know, we shout when we get cross. Um, but yeah, that's the female. I'm using gloves because she bit me. It wasn't a bad bite. They, they're not, you know, they're not toxic in any way. Um, some beetles like the flower, you know, the flower beetle, um, but he does sort of release a discharge, which is just a warning discharge. So just don't get that in your eye. Um, I have got a video of it and it didn't nearly go in my eye. So just be very careful. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's not too bad. He's not too bitey. He's just a bit grippy. Uh, she's, she hisses. Um, um, I've got two of them, but out of the two, she's really hissy, really stressy. You'll probably hear a hiss in a minute as I try and take her off. But just have a little look quickly. Of, um, yeah, so the brown rhinoceros beetle. Uh, so the male, I haven't heard much noise of, actually, but I'm sure he makes a noise. Um, but she hisses a lot. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like being, you know, picked up too much. But... Other than that, they seem pretty okay to handle. But um, I'm going to get her off now because it's going to take a while. Say goodbye. Good boy. That wasn't me. That was, that was the beetle. Um, have a nice little glimpse of my tank again. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice sort of... They like to borrow under it and then... I like to put kiwi on some of the uh, bits so they can eat the kiwi um, and it, it's quite quite a nice tank and you can do lots with it and I want to do lots more I want to put uh, some more fake plants in there I haven't got around to getting more but um, I'd love to but we're actually going to dip into a different tank now um, so these guys are the last ones which actually to be honest I don't really recommend as a beginning pet um, but I wanted to show you anyway. These guys are a little nippy, so I'm going to wear my gloves. They are they are gorgeous beetles though, and I don't have anything against any of these beetles. By the way, just want to swing it out, swing it out there. Um, just want to put it out there that all these beetles, even though some of them bite, they don't mean to. They might do it for defence. They might do it because they think you're food. That's what animals do. They bite to defend themselves or bite because they want to eat. So um, just bear that in mind. So I'm not saying never keep these beetles, um, these ones coming up next. However, I feel like they're not perfect beginner pets, but I still want to show you them anyway. Um, and I will probably go on why in another video, but uh, that's just sort of have a look at these guys. Give me a minute. So, what? The male is, so these are tiger stag beetles. Now, he's gorgeous. I love him to bits. His name is Tigger, by the way. Um, however, he does nip those two big large mandibles there. Yep, he likes to nip my gloves still. And it does hurt a little bit, but not as much if um, I had a... Yeah, I, I didn't have gloves on. He's nipped me before with the mandibles on my finger and he squeezed so hard, it was scary. Um, so I stick to gloves now. Um, he doesn't mean to, he's just doing it to feel around. He's not, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't know what I am. So that's fair dues. I just love the patterning here. It, it is really gorgeous and the female is gorgeous too. Um, I'm gonna handle one at a time because actually, <laughs> <laughs> he's not too bad um he's um you might have noticed if you look closely that um so i got him from a, um, a breeder um and unfortunately um one of his feet are missing um which is a shame uh but well it's tibia is a technical term 
but um yeah he it's a shame but he he does he does very well um i've had him for a while and he is fantastic aren't you he is very cute Ugh, it's, you know these all these beetles you can't really nail down and kiss them and some people will be like why would you but they are very gorgeous and i do find myself talking to them but yeah uh, so that's tigger he's not as friendly as he said he's not not friendly he's just you know he's defensive but he, he seems all right he seems very calm but i would handle him with gloves because if you put your finger in there he will go and he's got little spikes on the end of his mandibles no sorry he's inside the mandibles so that's to catch females um the sort of rainbow stags have them but they're very small um and it doesn't hurt too much but still i want to put your finger in between the mandibles but yeah he's gorgeous uh, he's got those gorgeous lovely patterns there don't you his lovely black patterns on the electra see look he's trying to do it now because he doesn't know what i am and he he might have an idea but insect senses they are although they're amazing their sight's not as great and we will go into that into a different video um some insect scents scent sight scent, um sight is better than others uh, excuse me just i'm not sure where she is but... ow it's all right i did he didn't he didn't snip me but um yeah i mean i would say there are a lot more stag beetles that are a lot more aggressive than the tiger be um stags but at the same time they are in that aggressive range and sometimes you get beetles from sites and i don't tell you the aggressive level until you get them you can kind of imagine what how aggressive they are um and, and if they're aggressive or not i'm really sorry i'm just trying to look for her you're probably going to end up pinching me in a minute but you know what can you say she pinches a bit as well but it doesn't hurt as much so I'm just going to slip my gloves off. I think she's burrowing. I don't want to disturb her, but I'll put a picture on the screen for you. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it because I don't I don't know where she is. And I feel, honestly, I don't want to disturb her. Um, but I will put a picture of her on, on the screen. I've got plenty of pictures. But that was just sort of a... Uh, Sorry, I've been out of focus of the camera a lot and I do apologise, but as if, 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 if all of you are keeping insects and, and, and animals that are quite, um, you know, very good at escaping and walking around, then you understand why. Um, but yeah, no, that's just sort of a summary of who I think is the best to keep um, in terms of beetle species. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and um, obviously the care, there's more care advice on beetles um on my website so go and have a look at that and also um on my youtube channel there's care there's rainbow stag care and um sun beetle care um and i have done a mantis um care sheet as well for beginners um which i'm sure i will add to in due time but that's just sort of a a, a video to sort of sum that up um and i will talk about this more in another video but thank you for watching and and yeah Keep safe.